Hi, welcome to Nourish Technologies. In this session, we are going to discuss uh, a brief introduction to Oracle SQL Developer. You may have been using SQL Star Plus or you know certain other interfaces uh, for using Oracle Database for connecting and using Oracle Database. Uh, but basically, apart from that, there are certain other uh, industry standard tools as well uh, which are used. Uh, you know to use and work on Oracle and other databases. One such tool is Oracle SQL Developer, uh, which is also popularly called as SQL Developer. And by using this tool, uh, we can connect to the Oracle database. So, in this session, I am going to introduce you how do you download, how do you install, how do you download and how do you use Oracle SQL Developer. See, you just need to search Oracle or even download Oracle Developer for Windows. The first link usually will take you to the Oracle website. So, this is official website of Oracle and from here you can download uh, you know the SQL Developer. Here accept the license and then whatever is the appropriate download link for you, it may be 64 bit or 32 bit or if you have got a Mac system or even for Linux, Ubuntu kinds of systems and for other platforms as well. So, the links are here, uh, download appropriate link, uh, have here downloaded 64 bit with JDK 9. So, once you download it, it will be in a zipped folder, you need to extract it and after extraction, uh, it will be extracted to SQL developer. Uh, kind of folder. Now, please understand you do not need to install this, uh, it just you know non installation package. Uh, after downloading and extracting, you will find uh, you know the file, the executable file, the executable file, you will find the executable file in SQL developer, run this file preferably as an administrator and the uh, Oracle SQL Developer. As you could see on the screen, uh, it will start, it will take a little while to load it and uh, after loading, uh, you can start using it. Now, you must be familiar with uh, application development using certain programming languages as well. Just like for programming, you have got uh, Visual Studio or you have Eclipse, NetBeans, many kinds of uh, you know integrated development environments that is IDEs. Here as well, SQL developer is just a kind of uh, IDE for database. So, after starting, after starting you will find welcome page as that usually comes on any uh, such IDE and you will find so many different links here. I will ignore all this stuff as of now like uh, data modeling and all that. Here friends, you can create a connection manually. Now, generally Oracle database port is 1521 and the host name is localhost, right? Service ID XE because I have been using express edition. These details uh, probably would be mostly available, uh, you know, pre-filled here. What do you need to do? Here you need to enter the connection name. I am giving the name HR. Uh, username also is HR and then I enter the password. So, you need to enter three fields here connection name, username as well as password. You have an option to save password as well. You click on save password. Following to that once you can test if the connection is working. You could see this test status here which is success. So, connection is working. Next thing is you need to connect it. So, remember the things here, you need to enter connection type, I mean connection name, username, password and then if required you can test it, if required you can save password as well and then finally connect it. Now, the connection has been established and in this left side window pane, 
you could see the new database appears here which is HR. Just expand it and you will find all the database objects in that. You have got tables, views, uh, indexes, packages, procedures, functions, so many things in that. Now, what do you do with the database? On database generally you will perform curd operations that is create insert update, uh, create insert retrieve and delete. In other words, you basically perform SQL operations on a database and they include the commands like DDL, DML, DCL, uh, TCL, DRL kind of commands. So, when it comes to DDL, DDL commands that is creating database objects or working on database objects or DML commands like data manipulation uh, kind of insert, update and delete. So, all those things can be done here as well. Assume you want to view the table, right. So, here you click on the table, right. Uh, in fact, to expand the table tab. So, below that you will find all the table names listed alphabetically. Open one table, just click on a table, the tables attributes will open here. By default, you will get the column names. The column names are like employee, ID, first name, last name, email, all those 11 columns are there. If you want to see the data in the table, simply click on the tab data. You will see the whole data. This table basically has 107 records. By default, you might be able to see only 50 records initially, but as you scroll down, you will find more and more records. Now, you want to see the data model of this table, click on the tab model right uh, and you will see uh, the model you know in addition to that you can see the constraints you know triggers if they are there on this table right. As you could see the data model this HR dot employees table is related to jobs table, departments table and jobs history table and this is how the data model is visible here. You want to see the SQL statement by which this table was created. Just click on the last tab SQL and you will see the SQL statement that is like create table, table name, you know all the column names and all that. So, basically this is how you can see the data, you can view the data. In other words, DRL that is select statement function can be done here. Now, coming to the data you want to see only a certain type of data. For example, you can uh, at, at present it is ordered by employee ID, you want to order it by name or first name. Uh, in that case, you can see only those records right and then you know you can uh, click here and order it. You can also click on the sort right and click on a certain column and then click OK. Now, the data will be sorted as per you know the first name or other given column right. So, basically this is how you work with writing select I mean this is how you can work with viewing the data. Now, coming to creating other tables as well, simply right click on table, click on the new table. Here I am going to show you how do you create a new table. By default table name will be table 1, give some name let us say test table, I am giving the name test table, column names you can give here C1 or any name as per your business requirement. So, you can give column names as well here, so I am giving a column name C1, next I will create one more column that is C2. So, here I am, I am going to create test table column names C1, C2 and I have a choice to give different uh, data types and size as well based on the business requirement. You also have an option to give the constraint not null and you know so many other things. Click on OK and your table will be created. You could see here the new table test table has been added here. You want to drop a table, simply right click on the table, right, go to the table option and then you drop a table from there. In addition to drop, rename, copy, truncate, you know, log, comment, all those things can be done. 
So basically uh, all the DDL DML commands you know uh, can be performed in SQL developer in the same way as, as you would perform them in uh, SQL star plus. That is a brief introduction to SQL developer given by Oracle. Thanks for watching this video. To watch more such videos, please visit Nourish Technologies. Thank you. Thank you.